to the day game. Bagpipes steal it off the pitch. The first Astro to steal 30 and hit 30 homers in the season. Top four, tied at one. Hildago, deep to left off Remlinger, his second home run, and the Astros are up two to one. In the eighth, reversed it, it's three two. Astros down. Bobby Abreu off Jeff Shaw. The ball goes to the Reds dugout. Gutierrez scores. We're tied at three. Shaw had to be taken off on a stretcher. In the eighth, four three on a sack fly, then Spires gets a hold of one. Deep to center field. Abreu and Craig Vigio score. Bagwell's gonna try to score. And this is standard Bagwell. Try to take and make as much as he can, and he's out in the ninth. Wagner, watch this. Talk about balls coming back at you. Ouch. Astros win 6-3. The Reds sold 17,411 tickets for their final home game. They're a little wiser. They fooled McGuire recently, and in this one, it was Schmidt's turn. McGuire just never really looked comfortable in this series. Soft line out of Dunstan, then he grounds out to Dunstan. Jason Schmidt hit better than McGuire in the game. Down the line and left in the fifth. The Bucks play two in the inning. They pull ahead three zip. Just another example of it. McGuire inside fastball. Then in the eighth, Wilkins facing McGuire. He just fooled. He was 0 for 4. 1 for 15 in the series. Last chance for the ninth, Lozell. Well, he had great stuff. He's been so consistent. Dimitri had no chance. And then William McGee. Bam, strikes out the side, gets it over. It's a great win for the Pirates. Drew almost 1.7 million, six highest attendance in their history. And Kevin McClatchy, the experience in that city is terrific. Hopefully it'll carry over next year. As I'll tell you, it may not be an organization in baseball with more prospects. Armando Benitez with a man on third for Bob Hamlin. Armando, don't go there. Hamhock to straightaway center field. Brady gives it away. 5-4. Tigers win it. Davey Johnson sounding a lot like Jim Leland said, we're not playing the way we're capable of game. Message sent. Shannon Stewart. Second inning. Watch Benito Santiago. Because he's watching. Jacob Brumfield takes the bat off his shoulder and he's down. In the third with a man at third. Carlos Garcia. K. Jose Cruz Jr. Not okay. He also goes down. And watch what he does to Benito Santiago. David Wells was working all parts of the play. Two outs in the fifth, Shannon Stewart. Again. Right, three to end the inning. Yanks win 8 1. Well, K7 gave up seven hits in eight. Joe Carter once again, 100 RBIs. 10th year. Her ball belted deep to right, hooking down the line. There, number 54. Fly away. Ken Rippey Jr. has caught Mark McGuire. It was her. Art Howe came out to argue it was a foul, but Rich Garcia, who knows a thing or two about calling home runs that are controversial, disagrees. Bottom of the fourth, Ernie Young, robbed by A-Rod. And then it's time for Junior again. In the top of the fifth, we told you his night sponsored by the number two, and here is why. And that ball is belted deep to right center field. Junior, you've got your double nickel. 55, fly away, my, oh, my. Indeed, Mr. Niehaus, he is indeed driving 55, number 55 for Griffey, four on Mariners. It's 42, and Heathcliff Slocum trying to close it down. Joey Cora makes a great stop on Brent Main. Great pick by Paul Sorrento, but Slocum would then give up two consecutive walks. Mike Timlin warming up just in case, but Slocum facing Matt Stairs gets Stairs swinging, and then Ben Grieve, the good-looking rookie, Looking. Mariners win four to two and clinch at least a tie in the AL West. Their magic number dropping them to dropping to one. Back said Dusty, we're an exciting team to watch. One minute you're swearing at the TV, the next you're cheering for us. Again, Giants fans and Dusty strapped in once again in San Diego on Monday. Two on two out in the second. Kilby Overs deep to right. Glenn Allen Hill coming out of nowhere to make the catch and saves two runs. Ken Caminiti showing some frustration in his at-bat. Hassan Chop! Well, not all the way. Now, you know how we like to say when it's a great defensive play, he flashes some leather. Well, Andy Ashby catches this Kirk Reeder ground ball without the use of a glove. And we're not going to use the word flashing. Oh, Bottom of the seventh. 5-3 Giants lead Roberto Hernandez on in relief with two men on and two outs. Pinch hitter Steve Finley at the plate. Base hit. Hernandez has been saying he's been feeling a little tired of late. 
Perhaps it's the reason why in this instance, well, who knows? Both run score. Padres score four in the seventh. We're tied at five. Could have been worse. Chris Jones grounds to Bill Miller at third. The throw at first pulls JT Snow off the bag, but that's why Snow's a gold glover. Catches Finley trying to score from second. Top of the eighth, Heath Murray with men on at first and second. And the Giants do it again. They blow a big lead, but get it back in the next half inning. Barry Bond scores on pinch hitter Stan Javier, base hit to right. 6-5 Giants, a five-run eighth. Bonds would later homer to Hernandez. Carlos Baergas says, Levon right back at you, big fella. Number nine of the season, the Mets, they have ruined a few parties, trying to spoil another. Marlins had champagne ready. Mets up 9-1. Everett ever slowly gets into the box. Poncino says, let's play. Everett flies out to left. On the way back to the dugout, Everett picks up an argument regarding a call third strike from back in the third inning. Watch what he does to his manager, Bobby Valentine. Throws him aside like a would-be tackler. Harry and Wendell Smith try to regain control. And Everett punches him out. Carl Everett was ejected. The Marlins expect to get champagne after the win, but instead they get doused by a cold, cold shower. The Mets are battling big time, and Carl Everett, rough game, dropped the ball in the outfield. Expos down to zip. I should say the six straight division title. Three National League East, three National League West, and is Greg Maddox all right? Yes, off the shot from Mondale White's bat, he stays in. Next bat is Brad Fulmer. Potential two-run shot, game tied at two. Despite that score, the Braves do clinch for the sixth straight time, thanks to that Marlins loss to the Mets. So, everybody in the locker room getting the champagne ready. But the party was not over yet. Well, the Expos didn't quit. And this was a terrific play with, with Kenny Lofton on third. Dave Beers threw the ball in the dirt. Beers comes back. Boy, he nice stuff tonight. Pops up Andrew Jones, takes it on into extra innings. In the 11th, tied at two. They're loaded with one down, and Steve Klein getting a little wild. Widger couldn't get that one. Bautista scores the game-winning run, and the Braves win 3-2 in 11 innings. Unlike the fireworks, which never went off in Florida, not only because the team didn't play well, because they actually... To go to a winner, top one. Knobloch on first, taking a lead. Maybe he was thinking about waving the claws. Jeff D'Amico got him in a rundown. Fernando Vina tags him out. Now Block went one for four and possibly his last home game in Minnesota. Bottom two, no outs. Damian Miller as cool as the other side of the pillow. Second homer of the year, first career Grand Slam. I'm a geeked up baseball fan, WW.com. Travis Miller was off the hook. Gerald Williams thought throwing the bat might help. It didn't. Jack Voigt went 0 for 3 and 2 strikeouts. Gerald Miller went 0 for 3 and 2 strikeouts. Twins win at 5-2. Three rookies figure in the Twins win. Damian.